Yeah, that's a great uh, idea. That's that's cool that you have that video to just kind of drop on them. I mean, do you feel like I, I feel like you have a video for every question at this point now on Shaw English Online? Uh, there are videos I still want to make parts of speech. Uh, I did. I did the alphabet uh, with two two women in 2013. I did an alphabet videos. I'd like to redo those a little better because, you know, we were we were in a studio at that time. It was so hot. We had no air conditioner. Oh, you guys are just sweating on, on camera. So the girls were wearing yeah. not much. <laughs> it's, so they're, these videos are popular, but maybe for the wrong reason. Is well, that... no, they're popular, but uh, yeah, some 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 of the audience might appreciate what they're wearing. But yeah, so the y, alphabet video, ABC, and she's showing uh, her cleavage, right? <laughs> and at the time, it was so hot. So it's like, whatever you need to wear to get through the video. Like, okay, yeah. I'm not going to wear this. And then uh, now, I'm, you know, I feel shame when I have these. YouTube was different. In, <laughs> yeah, that time. it was it a was, lot different. <laughs> it was the back alley of the internet. There was all kinds of scummy, <laughs> scammy, creepy stuff on YouTube. Right. Copyrighted material. Mm -hmm. And to... The the videos that were, were successful or the YouTubers that were successful at that time were not the best people, right? There are a lot of clickbait. It was stuff kind of salacious that. and yeah, it was right. So when you know she's gonna do where okay, where whatever, it's just it's just not nothing, it's YouTube, whatever. But now YouTube's respectable, it's yeah, it's okay. Big it, company. It, no matter how hot it is, you're you're wearing that cardigan and uh, uh, using all the buttons, you know. So I, you know, because you know, kids are watching this, right? And, yeah. Uh, I didn't expect that. So I'd like to redo that video. Um, more videos on modals, and more videos on pronunciation. Um, but it, you know, it takes time to write scripts, and it takes time to get the student or the teachers into the studio, prep them on the scripts, film, edit. So it takes me on average, I would say one year to edit a video. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it was that much. That, that there, there, there are, there are videos I rush edit. Like usually the hundred question series, I will rush edit. Um, but for the education English videos, average would be a year because there's videos I worked two, three years. There's videos I filmed in 2017. I, I still need to edit. Wow. So you just have like, you just have raw data, raw footage of these videos from years ago that you still haven't gotten around to editing yet. Um, yeah. is that is that like stuff that you just consider to be in the vault? Like it's it's good stuff that you want it, to get it out. It was it was weaker material, okay. but it's still suitable to. Yeah. It's still still good stuff. I think. Uh, I have another teacher, Fanny. Uh, she was a great teacher. She really knew her grammar. Like she was, uh, you know. She's fixing the scripts kind of teacher, which I love, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, why do you teach her this? <laughs> you gotta teach her that. And then I have video, I have one video of her teaching how to learn vocabulary. And yeah, it's it's actually a two-parter. It's two videos, and I really want to get it out, but it's just it takes a lot of editing. Okay. I see what you mean. Now, if I edit it, if I edit it in 2017 when I made it, that would probably take me, I'd say, about 20 hours to edit. Wow. But from that, if I did it today, and I'm not going to do it today, but I'll, I'll, I'll probably do it. Uh, Stop the interview. <laughs> next, yeah. next year, I'll get it out. Yeah. It, it'll take me about four hours. 
Wow, just because of the software is better and and your skills. Just my better? skill. Yeah. And everything I do just got so, how to do things, how to move things, just got so much better over time. Yeah. So it's like okay, I saved I saved time by waiting. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and then you just and yeah. Also, she's not in the country. She she uh she's left Korea. So when I release her video, it'll be a big surprise to everyone. Like yeah what's, by what's the way this? remember this one um yeah that's i mean that's that's cool i had no idea that you had videos that uh you know waiting that that long but um i mean i guess it goes to show like just how professional your operation is though i mean you really take pride in like your videos like you're, you're not gonna release it unless it is at a standard that you deem acceptable well, for your, I, your big I, channel i, I do there I have about 50 videos to edit at any time. There's still backlogged about 50 videos. There are over the years, there's about 10 videos that I refuse or I, 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 I'm not going to release for whatever reason. Uh, mm -hmm. The quality was too low. Uh, the teacher was not up to par. Uh, uh, there's about 10 that I made and I'm like, I can't release this. I can't release this. But I, I'm always thinking ways. Okay, I can't release the video. Can't you have maybe a blooper, I, blooper reel or something? Maybe, have, maybe I can do a, a video where I'm commenting on the video. Like you know, <laughs> yes. I never, I, I never want to throw anything away. Right. So uh, you paid for it. You're like, I. Uh, yeah. So how can I use this? Uh, there's teachers that came in. They did an audition. Usually the audition was they, they're going to make a video on something and they're comfortable teaching. So they're just going to come in. You know, I'll, I usually ask a teacher, what's your favorite slang word or idiom? And then they come in and teach it because uh, and then so I have a lot of audition videos. Yeah. Uh, teachers didn't. You know, there's all these things I could do. I just don't have the time. Yeah, you're you're it's a very much like a, 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 your operation. I mean, editing is the I think editing is the the most important part part of YouTubing, to be honest. To to me, it seems like the the editing is where you get to really cr the creative control and you know what I mean? Like I I'm, I don't know. I mean, I I think you got to have the footage, but but if it's not edited properly, it really does ruin the video. It's kind of a make or break. And you really, you really need the skill of sitting down in front of a computer for 10, 11, 12 hours to edit right. uh, things. And if you can't do that, I, I'm not saying you need to do that every day, but some days you need to do that. If you can't do that, uh, you're not going to be a YouTuber. Right. Right. Yeah. It just the, the, the little things are, they all add up. Um, have you ever had a, a person send in an audition tape and you thought this is masterful, like this is brilliant, and then they just flopped in the actual, um, you know, teaching when, when they were actually asked, tasked to do the, the actual class? The, I, I do get audition videos. Uh, I don't ask for them. But people send oh, me, okay. uh, the, other, ones. the other the other day someone sent me an, e uh, an email they attached a video link where they're teaching uh the problem with that is uh sometimes they're very good at editing themselves so they know uh their power yeah you know, if I get a teacher and they don't know how to edit, like Esther, uh, she's never going to make her own channel. Yeah. she's she, If she made her own channel, you know, she, she would be very right. successful. And I've told her over the years, you really should do right, that. Right. But, so when these teachers, they usually have their own channel. They've already experienced that. They know how to edit. They know how to make a video. And when they approach me, they're more... Uh, uh, they want to use my channel, not really get a job. Uh, they want can post this on your channel, and of course, in the in the video, there's something pointing to their channel, which is not necessarily bad. But I prefer 
teachers that I can make 100 videos with. Yeah, yeah. So you're looking you for know, a talent. You're you're looking for a, someone to work for Shaw English Online. So um, I, I don't want yeah. I don't want another Esther or Fan. So whenever I meet a teacher, I ask them, "When are you leaving Korea?" Yeah. Say in two months. I can't no. work with you because uh, what if you're successful? What if your video gets a million views and I need the second one? Well, you're gone, right? I, I'm making an investment and. In, so I prefer people, not just the teachers, but people who are going to be the cameraman or whoever I'm working with to be here long term so I can work with them multiple times over in the future. Yeah. Uh, so there have been some good teachers that contacted me and I, I just said, you know, I, I got to make a hundred videos. If, if you can't do that, uh, I can't work with you. Yeah. Well, this is an interesting story. I think this is a, a good one to kind of lead up to the uh, the end of our interview here. How did you come about the 100 questions? Because I, I like that story. I think that's really, really funny. Yeah. That, that uh, so until 2019, I was just making videos uh, teaching English. So grammar related, pronunciation related. That's my channel. That's that's what made right. me my channel popular. That's why the people came. Uh, but sometimes, uh, you know, I hire I hire a teacher, and they come into the studio, and uh, there was this one teacher. She she couldn't teach, so she was a lovely person. And actually, her full time job was model. Oh, ah, okay. So she was just very uh, uncomfortable in the teaching well position there, basically. There's when you hire when you hire teachers, real teachers like you and me, uh, we're actually not comfortable in front of the camera. No, no, not at all. Yeah, bright lights, camera pressure on you not to make mistakes speak clearly you know that's a very intimidating environment uh i i i'm i can't handle it i i know that's my weakness so uh yeah. that's one reason i hire other people to do it because i can't so which is better uh, a, a model pretending to be a teacher or a teacher pretending to be a model depends on the cut if i'm doing okay. pronunciation models are better because yeah they already know how to you know, enunciate clearly for the camera, the comfortable grammar, don't touch a model. So I made that mistake. Okay. I have a model. <laughs> Here's some little, little easy grammar. Something yeah. to teach. Couldn't do it. So I, I, I had her for about three hours for the, the, the allocated time. And so after two hours, we have nothing. My goal in three hours is to get 10 videos. What do you have, like two or three at that point? Nothing. 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 Oh, no. Nothing. So what could she do? Well, uh, I had to think, what is something so simple that she can do? And I thought, Shh, I can interview her. But, you know, just an interview with a model doesn't really fit my channel. Like, right. I, I didn't know, like, and I didn't want to be on camera. <laughs> so, uh, Vogue, do you know Vogue? Yeah, sure. The magazine. They they, yeah. they have a video series where they walk around a house and they're interviewing the star. And, and I thought something like that, and she could walk around. And no, I just sat her in front of the green screen. And very quickly, I thought of uh, 100 basic questions to ask her and this is before chat gpt right this is oh uh, yeah this but you know we're native speakers we could we could come up with 100 basic you know where are you from where do you i, think I could come up with 50 here? but 100 man, uh, that's, you, that's you, impressive you, man you, you, you could get it out <laughs> and you know and if they say you know you could ask what's your favorite food they say chicken why is chicken your favorite food? <laughs> how, often how, do you chicken? Chicken? <laughs> how, how often do you eat chicken? Do you cook chicken? You know, you yeah, can yeah. drag it out. 
10 chicken questions, right? So I thought she could do that. So I sat her down, asked her a hundred questions. She just has to answer yes, no, chicken. That's all <laughs> I need. I got it. Yeah. And then Esther was coming. It was 2019. Esther was coming to Korea at that time. And one day Esther came in uh, and we were fit. We had a very tight film schedule. So every day we're filming hours. And one day she's just like, Robin, I, I'm, I'm so tired today. And, you know, I, I'm like, we need content, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I took the hundred questions that I prepared for the other girl. Okay, Esther, I'm just going to ask you a hundred questions. So I got her with the same questions. And then I guess a year after that, I finally uploaded those. Yeah, videos. I was going to say, you just <laughs> sat on that for a while. You don't realize you have gold in there, you know? And then those videos were very popular, still yeah. popular, both of them, both right. of them. So uh, I guess around 2019, I realized, wow. These, this is a popular format, 100 questions. Wow, this is more popular than teaching English grammar. Yeah. So it took, it took me uh, another couple of years to finally make a new one. <laughs> but I think I've, I've uploaded. This is a theme in your history here. Is it, it, there's, a, there's a couple of year gaps there when you stumble upon something well, really I'm wonderful. Sl I'm and... slow. I'm slow. <laughs> well, because I have such a backlog of videos. Yeah. I'm reluctant to go out and film another bunch. Start a whole new batch. Yeah. Uh, until, you know, I want to get this finished. But so, yeah, if I never came across the 100 video series, yeah, I would have edited all the other videos already. Oh, sure. But that kind of interrupted the Shy English progress with a new kind of format. So I kind of had to get that material. So these days, uh, yeah, I try to get 100 questions every week. I try. Uh, I got about 20 made. Yeah. Uh, well, they're really fun, though. They're fun to watch, you know, fun to listen to. And, it, I, you know, I'm not learning English. I already speak English, but I've watched. Well, I think their pop their popularity is because they go outside. Uh, they the attract an audience that's just not not just about learning English. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of anyone could watch this. It's, it's not an English video or it's mm -hmm. not teaching English. It's just an interview with 100 questions. So anyone could watch that so i think that's why it's successful it just the audience is so much bigger than uh yeah well, i wonder if it isn't more satisfying for the english language learners also because they they do appreciate it because they're I, doing something not education related it's like look what i can do it's it's well, the regular from interview a, yeah. from 100 questions i came up with smaller videos 25 questions so 25 can you questions 25 do you or does she questions 25 questions about your country mm -hmm. uh and the students like that because it's just completely natural responses right like they're not scripted so you know the teacher will give a response sometimes the the not just teacher i also bring in uh, language learners english language learners Right. Sometimes they don't, they don't answer. They don't understand the question, and they gave a wrong response. I keep that. Like, mm. This this is you just want it to be a fully natural kind of this situation. Is a natural it's organic, thing. yeah. Uh, and some students appreciate that. I'm, I'm little, sure more than some, you know, like the, those little ones are not as successful. I think because the type, you know, YouTube likes longer form. The small yeah. ones are like two minutes. The 100 questions are 8 to 10 minutes, and YouTube seems to like the longer form. And yeah, uh, another that. another mm -hmm. idea that worked very well uh, is just people talking about their daily routine for one to two minutes. You know, come in, tell me about your daily routine. And they just talk about their daily routine, and that seems to do well. Yeah. Uh, just like I get up at 
you know, seven and yeah, it's, brush my it's, teeth. And I, yeah. I love, I loved, you know, when I'm in the studio, so when I bring in a teacher and if they're teaching grammar, I'll allocate two hours now. So we got to finish so many videos in two hours. If I'm bringing in someone for a hundred questions, I'm bringing them in for one hour. To to film a hundred questions, it's it's real time. Yeah, so it's ten minutes. Done. So I still got fifty minutes. What am I gonna do? We got the main video. So then I thought, okay, let's do a couple twenty-five questions, twenty-five can you questions, and then that could, be, and then eventually I got to. I get. I still have a little bit of time. Tell me about your daily routine. All right, they tell me about their daily routine. Okay, I still have a little bit of time to squeeze some content. There are so, some can you questions uh, in there, or some? Uh... I I have some game like quick games uh i call them tasks uh for example i haven't released them yet they're filmed for like a year i haven't released one of them yet so for example i'll say can you name uh five adjectives to start with a oh okay seconds. okay 30 seconds clock's going yeah can you say the alphabet forwards and then backwards in 20 seconds so i have a lot of those just things you know to fill in the time i don't know how they'll do but i'll i'll edit, I'll edit them one day i think the students would enjoy the games i imagine i i, I think they would yeah. well that was uh my biggest uh disappointment was i think yeah 2019 i made a game the idea came to me 2017. Hey, I can make this game show. Worked on it 2017, tested green screen, got animations. 2019 filmed it. And I'm so excited. I edited it, edited it first. And it was so hard to edit. It was really, really hard to edit a game show. Right, a and, lot of cuts, uh, yeah, especially I with had, one camera because you're doing single camera, right? Like it's, yeah. So I had, uh, I filmed some in this studio. I filmed some in my college studio. Filmed with two students there. The host and the students, uh, the contestants in the game show never met. <laughs> wow, this is some serious so, editing right there. Yeah, uh, it was a big yeah. project, and I released it nothing nobody nothing. cared Ugh. nobody cared i was like ah because that, that that was fun to make yeah well that, that was, was a that was a passion is, project you know what i mean like is, you were fired up about it fun other english teachers are not doing it i like it nobody cared i was like okay i did make a part two didn't edit it so that's one of the ones i didn't edit uh i might edit take a look at it see if yeah. it's something's Salvage, there yeah yeah interesting wow yeah i mean i think um what you described there is like metaphor for youtube you know i mean your idea you always you tell me this all the time you say your ideas that your ideas don't your, matter your opinion your opinion doesn't your, matter your opinion yeah. doesn't matter so what you think is good the audience uh they might not agree with you and they uh <laughs> Probably. Most likely they will not. Most, you know I mean? most yeah. likely they will not agree with what you think quality education is. Right, right. Or, or even what a good YouTube video is. Like what's entertaining. Like just that in general. Um, it's a very fickle monster. You know, YouTube. It's it's uh... e even even that game video. Like years later, I put up a a message on YouTube. Hey, check. I tried to get more people to go watch it years later. No. Just not, there's just no interest there. No, no. Interesting. Yeah. It's really, uh, you, you, I, basically what you told me is you got to kind of be like water, you know, you got to kind of move in the direction where there's a, a lane open, you know, or something like you just have well, to kind of. Well, the problem with YouTube is, you know, Esther built my channel esther videos 
So yeah. when I put out a video that doesn't have Esther, uh, there's a rejection. Every mm -hmm. video. So that hurts. So I could have had a good idea. It's just the uh, the wrong audience. The wrong audience saw it. Uh, so you, you'll never know. So yeah. uh, luckily I did 100 questions with Esther. Uh, so yeah. they kind of introduced the 100 questions as a, a, a series on this channel. She was there. But uh, other stuff, you know, if I, it's, yeah, I have to be very cautious if I'm doing anything that is a little bit different because uh, the audience, Esther's audience will probably reject it. The moment they see, oh, this is not Esther. Yeah. And reject. the stakes are different for your channel, the big channel where you have 2 million subs and, uh, you know, a tiny channel like mine where I have the, I have the freedom to kind of experiment. And I know you've done that with your smaller channels as well, right? Like you, you've done some experimenting and, testing yeah but i am i guess i've been successful to introduce the hundred excuse me the hundred questions because my, my channel is more of a question channel now than a grammar channel yeah because those do better than the grammar i i i would uh go back to grammar only if i found a teacher like Esther or Fanny. Okay. Or if Esther or Fanny were here. <laughs> they are too. Yeah, they could come back. If they come back for whatever reason. Uh, then I would go back into grammar because I know they know how to teach grammar. They're good on camera. Students are going to like them. But if I don't find that teacher, uh, those videos are not so successful. Yeah, yeah. Um, Man, this was, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've taken so much of your time today. I really appreciate it. Um. Yeah, we went deep YouTube here. Uh, we went deep know. YouTube. I, I learned a lot. You haven't told me all this stuff. So this is this has been enlightening for me, as well as our listeners out there that I know are I, interested I, in your history. So I don't know. Maybe your listeners are bored to death. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. Look at him with yeah. the gold black behind him. Yeah, that whining about YouTube. I don't see a gold plaque behind me, you know. I could draw yeah, one but, on my whiteboard, but uh, it's not the same. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, but Robin, uh, thank you so much. And just I, I want to uh, remind our viewers out there that uh, you've got the big channel Shaw English Online, but also you've got daily English homework, uh, Learn English Live, uh, IELTS Insider, and uh, also our uh, project that we're working on together, English Word Master. So. I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that one as well. So, uh, yeah, you've got a lot of irons in the fire. But, uh, yeah. Yes. Thanks a lot, man, for the interview. All we right. appreciate it. Thanks for inviting me. And uh, I, I'm always happy to talk to you, Jack. Awesome. Thanks, man. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.